everything free of charge. Amen. How many you think you are now? Did anybody bring a friend to this meeting this morning? Nobody. I don't think God blesses the lazy. As a child of God, you owe it to God to lead oneself to Christ every week. Jesus said, All power is given to me, therefore go and will so, for I am with you. Take your seat. This morning we're going to discuss on deliverance. The importance of deliverance in the life of a believer. Can we see Pastor Joe, let's see the book of uh, Ted Mark. No, nine, the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 23, 24, 25, 26. What does it say? That noise is from where? From the fan. Huh? Okay, go on. If thou can believe, all things are possible. Yes. I believe. Uh, have mercy on me. Yes. Even when you shall have given your life to Christ, there are little demons that can make your life difficult and hard. Read on. There are little demons that will oppose your freedom and oppose your healing. I would insist that they continue to rule and dwell in your life. Read on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's rush to the book of Luke, chapter 8. Let's see verse 2. That's okay. Let's rush to chapter 
3 of the book of John verse 17. Take Isaiah 61, verse 1. Isaiah 61, verse 1. certain things there are others who also get easily angry in their anger they tell lies in their anger they shout to express their frustration and there are others who are addicted to things that will not help them um, those who get easily angry is, is a kind of attack they get angry over little things. And in their anger, they misjudge others. In their anger, they threaten others. I found to my own surprise and pain that every one of us that gets is late angry has no future. It's amazing that the man we call Moses was a great man. But he was a man of easy irritability. As a result, he did not reach his own kennel because of anger. Right where we are this morning, do I have anybody? Do we have anybody that gets this angry and it bothers you? And you'd like to be set free from that easy irritability. Saul could not become the king of Israel because of anger. And it has limited so many of us, it has stopped so many of us from becoming what God wants you to be. This morning, do I have anybody who will say to God, I want to be set free from anger? Can I have you raise up your hand? Stand up, let's count. Somebody count them for us. It's amazing that Moses was a great man, but anger brought him down. King Saul could have become the king of Israel, but for anger. And this morning, I don't know how many of you have it as a burden. You like God to set you free. When I was a young, sit down. When I was a young man. I used to get easily angry and I could confront anybody including my parents. But it stopped me from being who God wanted me to be. A day to every exam I'll be sick. I'll be in the hospital. No matter how intelligent you are, if you did not take the exam, you can't pass the exam. Can you? It bothered me. For I used to live in hospitals until I made peace with God. I said to God, I don't like my easy irritability. I don't like getting angry easily. Help me. This morning, I'd like you to know 
that there are impediments that can stop you from being who God wants you to be. One of them is easy irritability, getting angry easily and getting angry over nothing. It stops you from being who God wants you to be. When I made peace with God, God blessed me by helping me in every exam I took. A week to that exam, God would give me all the questions. I would study around those questions. Of course, I'll pass. Anger stops you from having favor with God. Anger stops you from being the man God would like you to be. Can we see the book of Exodus chapter 3? Let's see verse 21. What, what, what makes the life of a believer beautiful is the favor that God gives to him. But when you begin to offend God and irritate God, I don't know if you know, anger means you are judging others. And when you judge others, God, the Bible says, judge not, why? That you may not be judged. When you judge others, God will judge you. And that's what makes that type of life difficult. I, I really would like all those who want to be set free, I would like you to take some time and fast and pray and cry to God for deliverance that he may help you out of that that is irritability when we have I said I'll give you what favor read on yes I'll give you favor in the sight of those who don't like you it shall come to pass when you go through life, you will not go empty-handed. Men and brethren, we all need it. There is nothing as powerful. Because poverty is a mark of curse. There are people who are always struggling in their finances. Because they don't have that favor God promised every believer. And this morning I'm wondering, do we have anybody... You have noticed that you don't seem to enjoy favor with God. And this morning you would like God to set you free from that limitation and hindrance. Anybody here? Let me see your hand raised up. Wow. I would like you to pay the price of freedom. You must, you must hunger after after freedom, long after freedom, crave after freedom, pant after freedom, pine after freedom. Say to God, I don't like my present situation. There are others who fall from sickness to sickness. They are always sick. That was my life at the early stage of my life. I used to go from sickness to sickness, from sickness to sickness. I was never completely free. But amazingly, God can change that situation. Now I can stay up to 20 years without being sick. Come, how many of you would like to stay for 20 years without being um, Every hand is up. God does not want you to remain sick. Well, he came to bring you healing and to bring you favor. Favor is awesome. What? Favor, favor is awesome. God will protect you from the attack of your enemies. And God will help you to enjoy your walk through life. How many of us would like us to start praying for it now? Or take some time and prepare? Give up your dinner, fast and pray. Which one do you prefer?
Number one, I'd like you to know that it hurts God to see you perishing, to see you struggling in life, to see you not doing well. It hurts him. And your, your prayer must show you are ready to cry out to God to help you. When you cannot stay without sickness, something is wrong. Others have addiction. Others have addiction. And addiction is evidence of you living a life of limitation. This morning, I'm asking for those who want freedom, who want favor. Favor means God will honor you with what others are looking for. Deliverance really means redemption. Redemption from bondage or danger. In the Bible, we shall see so many people who were set free. Let's see the book of First Samuel, chapter 17, verse 37, Second Kings. Chapter 20, verse 6. The book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 2. Chapter 17, verse 13. Which one have you captured? Which of the verses? Go on. Yes, let's see the book of Second King chapter twenty verse six. I've delivered thee from what? To whom was God speaking? Hezekiah. And God said, I've taken away what? Sickness from you. Sickness can be a great hindrance. It takes away your comfort and your, and your happiness. I don't think anybody here likes to be sick. But there are people who are always sick. They hardly get well. Do I have anybody who hardly sleeps well? Something disturbs your sleep. Something makes your sleep very halty. And you like this God to help you enjoy your sleep and sleep like a baby my own bigger problem is how to keep awake <laughs> do you know I can step out and urinate and as I hit the bed I will, my wife says there's nobody she know that sleeps like me to me it's a healing therapy huh when you sleep well, your health will be good. Is that correct? The enemy does it to just to make your life uncomfortable. But they can fight back and say to God, I want 
my freedom. I want to enjoy sound sleep. It's a beautiful gift. And do you know if you started the night with headache and you can sleep well, that headache could disappear. This God wants us to enjoy our life here on earth. Do you think we should start today to pray or prepare for that deliverance? By giving up your dinner, by panting and pining after God, by saying to God, I just want to be set free. Again, there are, do you know there are thoughts of what you did before that can be a hindrance to you. You keep thinking about that little thing you did some years ago. Then may present it as your sin, your wickedness. But God can forgive you and grant you peace of mind. That's part of the deliverance. Do we all want it? Are you sure? Let's stand up. <coughs> Let's see the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 49. I don't know whether we understand that beautiful line. This God has promised to endure us with what? Power. I don't know if I've ever seen a man with power. How many have you ever seen a governor? You know, when a governor steps into any place, everybody will stand up. And just said that the ambassador was emphasizing it. That when a governor steps in, all the ubers and chiefs and whatever should stand up. <laughs> And I hear it's cutting, it's causing commotion all over Nigeria. People are angry. And I want you to come to that place where this God will endure you with power. I don't know if you, know if you have power. You can command the world around you to obey you, and they will obey you. Huh? During my son's wedding, I was abused to hear the governor say every, every commissioner that will not be at that wedding will be sacked. That's what a man with power can do. Can another man do it? No. <laughs> wow. We have to begin from position of hunger. How many of you hunger for freedom? Pants for freedom. Pine for freedom. Long to have freedom. It will make your life very, very pleasurable and comfortable. But you have to show your determination not to let go until God has blessed you. Huh? Let's take a song. Who is our song leader? Is he here? I didn't say you should go up. You can sing from there. have to convince yourself you are standing in the presence of God. Ask God to make his presence real to you. That is the only way that that song can command blessings upon you. You know, we sometimes we sing without even thinking. We just sing to make noise. But before you sing that type of song, first convince yourself that we are standing in the presence of the Almighty God. Come, who is that woman kneeling down? Stand up. 
You want to sleep? We are talking about singing and you are talking about kneeling. You want to sleep, so I will pray that you will sleep. Okay, take it again. Let's hear. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 